Hello again viewers, welcome again to beautiful Malaga wee side streets, fantastic buildings, lots of wee tapas reference. We're going to show you maybe the cheapest pint of beer in Malaga, how can they do it? Shocking prices or affordable series, just a wee bit of fun viewers. I just walked by it there and I thought oh, I'll show you where this is. I walked by it, it's an absolutely beautiful places here. So this is just a wee bit off the main streets and we're going to take a wee wander round here. We're going round the back of there, don't worry. I'm not joking viewers, we'll go round here. You'll see what I mean in a wee minute viewers, I'm not joking. I think it's maybe now nearly seven o'clock maybe. Uh, Malaga is unbelievably busy today because there's a festival and I told you I wasn't joking. Jokers, we're going to be bet, that's the place to go there. We saw them just now. We are going to go around this way. We'll show, show you some shops, we'll pass some well-known places, some places maybe you've not heard of. You'll see it all yours. Now, if you fancy a wee bit of tapas and a large beer for two euros, I have found a place for you. This is a wee chain, um, very, very affordable. 100 Monta Ditos. There we go, viewers. How can they do it? Oh, that beer looks good just now. I could just stop here. That beer looks good. But onwards, let's go, viewers. <laughs> let's continue. Two euros for a beer, eh? Not bad. For a beautiful city centre location like this. Big shop there. Drinny. Okay, coffee lovers, I've just noticed a Starbucks as well. Now I've got decisions, decisions, viewers. What way do I go here? Left. Or do I go this way down to this beautiful church building? Might head down there, we'll see, viewers. It's just busy everywhere. These are the quiet streets I'm in just now. I'm not joking, viewers. This is a quiet section of Malaga. There's a Clara, another wee shop there as well. This is a nice wee shop, a uh, restaurant here. 1900 it's called at the end, so I'm assuming that's some relevance to maybe when it opened. <laughs> Lots of lottery sellers around about here. Down there's kind of main street, not that far away from the port and um, the marina. I actually meant to show you, quite annoyed, the past the coffee place earlier on looking at the Starbucks and they did they did a sign up in the window saying support your local caffeine dealer, which I thought was quite funny of yours. And I forgot to show you. I think I walked by it without showing you. Let's continue. What are these wee random kiosks? What are they selling here? Lego. <laughs> Who knew it was big here? Lego. Superheroes and all sorts. Quite nice to see these wee kiosks. I don't know any of my viewers. Viewers from Paisley, where I'm from, Paisley in Scotland. Do you remember the wee kiosks they used to have at the cross and the, the guy used to sell the newspapers, the Paisley Express and all the other papers? It's all gone now, eh? It's a shame. Trip down memory lane. You still get it in Spain. Let's take a wee wander down here. Paris. Found Paris for you viewers. Paris knack. There you go. Maybe specialised in the French croissant there as well. Prices pretty affordable as you can see. This few place here is lovely as well. What's it called? Isolina brunch and tapas. So many nice places to pick from. Let's head down to this church here. I think I've done a video the last time I was here and I confused this for the cathedral, but it's not. Cathedral's a lot bigger. <laughs> Let's continue. Can't really remember, but it's up here. And let me know, do you like the wee random ones like this where I just randomly walk about and maybe find a few things? They don't do that well because they don't have specific titles really suited to the video and I don't think about them that much. Not much down there. <coughs> Crepe place down there. Not much down there. Let's continue. But sometimes the random ones, you find a wee hidden gem, don't you? Sometimes. Could be the 
Got a new place maybe opening here, putting the sign up. Good luck to you. Pizza place. Church is that. And dinner. You just hear the buzz, hear the buzz of people just sitting out eating, chatting. Very, very few bars here with background music. It's all focused on the food. If you're a food lover, then you will love this place. Bendito restaurant and cocktail. Looks nice as well. They all look nice, don't they, really? All right, we'll go down there. No, go around this side. Church is not open. Okay, here we go, viewers. I told you, we always find a hidden gem. Always. If you're here for the day and you want to leave your luggage somewhere, if your hotel does not have a left luggage room or the reception shuts early, like my hotel tonight, here is a place that you can store your luggage. I don't know the prices, let me just check. A couple of wee tapas down there as well. Beautiful wee balconies there. How nice is Malia? Okay. So, have you left luggage place here? Let's see. You can change the language to English. Let's do that. Okay, book now. Extra large or large. Let's just say large, see how much they'll charge. Oh no, you can only pick extra large. One day, eight euros. That's not bad, isn't it? Eight euros, one day. I think that's until... Hmm... Might be till 11 o'clock tonight, I'm not sure about that one. So you click OK. Then you put in a wee passcode. Um, let's just pick anything, 4141. OK. Confirm password, 4141. Eight euros. Follow the instructions. You basically just swipe the card there. And then I take it they give you some sort of instructions on how to leave your luggage. So viewers, it's ended with a helpful tip, just about. Go around here. Beautiful buildings. Look at this place here, this is lovely. There you go, viewers. Very random, kind of a wee bit off the beaten track where, where you can uh, put your, your lockers. I wouldn't have found that unless I was just randomly walking about. Not useful for really too many people, to be honest with you. Most hotels are going to have luggage facilities. In saying that, I did stay in a hotel in Prataris in Cyprus. They had no left luggage, you just have to leave your luggage at the door. Which I wasn't too fussed about, to be honest with you. I wasn't that happy about that. Especially if you had expensive camera equipment around with you. You wouldn't want to do that. So anyway, there's a wee secure locker. Place for you as well. A couple of wee random closed places. Continue. Here am I now. There's the police. Let's go down this way. Okay, viewers. I think I'm heading back up this way. I'm a bit lost now. Hey, thanks so much for watching to the end. Let me know if you ever use the lockers. Let me know, viewers. Um, if you watch to the end, superstar. Thanks so much. Um, Quite enjoyable walking about Malaga, it's a nice place. These are the kind of quieter streets. Um, don't forget you're out, hit the wee subscribe button if you're absolutely new, it doesn't cost a penny. And um, check out all the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be heading down this way, viewers. We will see what we can find. I'm not quite sure what's down here yet. Can't really remember where we are. When we get to the end of the road, all will be clear, but I'm kind of get my bearings definitely okay viewers thanks again for watching and uh, good luck with the lockers bye bye